Roberto Duran makes his way into the Cobo Arena and the crowd comes alive. Whatever happened in the ring in the Superdome in New Orleans with no mas, no mas, is still a mystery, despite all the explanations. But the point of the matter is that Roberto Duran remains a favorite of the boxing crowd. This crowd, at least here in Detroit, as we can hear, has forgotten the shame of that night, November 25th, in 1980, when he quit after eight rounds. We may never know what really happened, but we know this. Right now, this crowd is turned on by Roberto Duran. Kirkland Lang in the ring as well. <laughs> he seems to be the supporting cast here. I point of the matter, there's the arithmetic. Duran's record, only three losses in a magnificent career. Kirkland Lang, the 28-year-old from Britain, comes into this fight with a record of 23 and one with 10 knockouts. Here in Michigan, it'll be judged on the 10-point must system, three knockdown rule in effect. Duran contends that he is sharp. He has spent the last month in eastern Pennsylvania at the gym of Larry Holmes, working out. Kirkland Lang uh, came over from Britain. Britain had plenty of time to get ready for this fight. We're having the announcements of uh, several big-name fighters here tonight, including Hilmer Kenty out of the uh, Kronk Gym. And I'm sure pretty soon we will see Larry Holmes coming up. Milton McCrory now coming into the ring. He's uh, the star welterweight of the uh, Rock Gym. And here's Larry Hall. And as all these introductions are made, we look at Kirkland Lang. What must he be thinking? He's fighting a man he knows, at least in the past, was a legend and a two-time champion. Showed no nervousness today, Sal. As uh, both of us experienced, we were quite surprised how cocky Kirkland Lang is, and maybe that'll help him. Completely calm, almost indifferent. Now we'll have our national anthem. back in the ring and ESPN's got him along with Kirkland Lang. Kirkland Lang with a record of 23-3-1 with uh, 10 knockouts. Last fought on May 5th. He knocked out Joey Mack over in Britain in the seventh round. Duran has not fought since January 30th. He lost a 15-round decision to the uh, champion Wilfred Benitez. Let's get the official introduction from Jim Ingram. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the main event of the evening. Ten rounds of professional world-class super welterweight boxing. In the blue corner, wearing green trunks with white trim, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall at 149 and 1 quarter pounds. His professional record, 23 victories, 3 losses and 1 draw. Here's the former welterweight champion of England, Kirkland Lang. Lang.
In the red corner, standing five feet, eight and a half inches tall, at 155 pounds, his professional record, 74 victories, three losses. From Panama, is the former welterweight champion of the world, the hands of stone, Roberto Duran. Bobby Watson, the referee for this bout scheduled for 10 rounds. He's giving them the final instructions. Here in Michigan, they'll score it by the 10-point must system. Pre-knockdown rule is in effect. This is a 24-foot ring. Plenty of room for both of these junior middleweights. Duran checked in at 155, Lang at 149 and a quarter. Lang, the former welterweight champion of Great Britain, really a beefed up welterweight. Mickey Duff is the manager and trainer in his corner. Lang in the green trunks, Duran in the red. Between rounds, we'll have Louis Enrique to uh, tell us what's going on in Duran's corner. And so, Bobby Watson gives the signal. There's the first battle we're underway, round one. Kirkman Lang about an inch and a half taller than Duran. He told me this afternoon he will be too quick for Duran. Well, we'll see. And I thought already an interesting gesture from Duran. He reached out to tap gloves with Lang. I've never seen him do that in a fight. A gentlemanly gesture on his part. Lang's first punch was a jab and right on the button. And in his comeback fights since that Leonard fight and also the Benitez fight, Duran has been much more cautious in early rounds than he was as a lightweight and as a welterweight. spinning away from Duran's power. Hands of stone that produced 55 knockouts. And Lang will need to use that jab and land it effectively. Something fighters find difficult to do because one of the great attributes of Duran often overlooked is that he slip punches very well. Roberto seemingly wants to go to the body here in the opening round. Uh, Lang continues to spin away, throws out a left hand. Right hand, countering right by Duran, and that caught Lang on the head. However, early in this fight, we noticed Duran lunging with the right hand already, a, a, a tactic that really hurt him in his second fight against Leonard and against Benitez as well. Uh, he's got a lunge if the guy isn't there. Lang looking to hit and run, takes a right to the body. Neither fighter really established any kind of tempo or rhythm, being overly cautious. And in that regard, I would think that Lang is the more cautious of the two. Less than a minute to go in the opening round. And Lang is using all of this 24-foot ring, and this is a boxer's ring. Left hook by Duran, and that caught Lang on the right side of the face. You can cut, uh, count the punches on uh, both hands here in the opening round. Well, Lang's landed three or four jabs. Duran, one or two left hooks, and that's been about it. Final seconds of the opening round. Couple of left hands by Lang. Duran misses uh, badly with the left hand. So far, he hasn't been able to reach Lang. This is a little bit of a loose one. And when he lunged with that right hand, Lang hit him with the counter left. So that's something to look for. You know what's missing in Duran? The sneer. I don't see the sneer on his face. Well, he looked docile at the beginning of this fight, and so far his timing is woefully off. But it's early. An inconclusive first round, as Lang was content on really staying away from Duran. The uh, corner of Durang, uh, uh, Duran, a little bit overcrowded, one of the inspectors told them, uh, two in the ring and two outside the ring. They got a, a quorum in there, a big meeting. Well, some confusion in the corner of Roberto Duran, and uh, 
We're waiting to get a little interpretation on what's going on in there. Of course, uh, they want some combinations. They want some combinations from Duran, and uh, we'll find out what was just said from Louis Enrique. Louis? First of all, his instructor, Nesta Colon, has told him to follow and um, cut the ring much faster and get to work fast with him. As you may see, now he's getting closer to the boxer right now. Duran having some trouble with his footing there as we begin round two. You heard the voice of Louis Enrique translating what occurred in the corner of Duran between rounds. It's scheduled for 10. At some point, Lang has to stop running and he has to start fighting. I'm sure Duran expected this, but he has to be patient. Wait him out. He has seen this tactic before. Well, I think eventually Lang will stop. Lang is the kind of guy who likes to punch in bunches when he does punch. Right now, of course, he wants to frustrate Duran. He's also frustrating this crowd here at Cobo Arena. Kirkland Lang, the 28-year-old from Great Britain, the former welterweight champion of Britain, in the green trucks, being booed by the crowd because they want him to get it on. Cut off the ring. Now, early in that first round, Lang was using the jab rather effectively. While he was moving, he was also punching. In this round, he's not throwing one punch. Brad throws a right hand. He missed as Lang spun out of the way. We're halfway through round two. Well, this second round's been the Kirkland Lang Invitational track meet. Very little action from him offensively. Actually, he's not tiring out Duran at all. Duran is not throwing punches, he's just stalking him. If that's his tactic to tire out Duran, it's not going to work. Less than a minute to go in the second round. Left to the body by Lang, and he's tied up by Duran. I'm surprised that Lang isn't using his jab. He's got a quick jab. And in the first round, he landed it three or four times very effectively. Now uh, Lang more flat-footed as we're in the final seconds of round two. Right hand by Duran, right on the button. Lang with a left-right combination, and that right hand cracked on Duran's face. Duran with a right, and Lang comes back with a countering right hand. And Lang muscles Duran onto the rope. Well, it's starting to heat up, and we'll be back in Detroit. We're into round three. That's Roberto Duran stalking Kirkland Lang, who ran for most of the first two rounds. And this is what Mickey Duff, his manager, had to say. You can't run without throwing Mickey Duff saying, this is not England, you can't run, you gotta throw punches. Durant with a right hand, Lang with a right uppercut. I know, Al, it was difficult for you to score the first two rounds. Well, I gave Durant, actually I scored the first one even because I didn't think there was much going on. The second round, I gave it to Durant on the strength of the fact that he landed a couple of punches, but uh, not much going on in those two rounds. Things are indeed heating up now. And perhaps Mickey Duff's words to Lang will take hold and he will stand and fight with Durant a little bit. Well, Mickey also made another uh, excellent remark. He said, everything you're throwing, you're connecting with, you might as well throw punches. That's absolutely right. He's landed some good jabs and when he follows with the straight right, he can land that too, so. Uh, he, he has been accurate. Now Kirkland Lang is inclined to mix it up with Durant, and now we will have a fight. Halfway through the third round, the question remains, can Durant 
handle the speed of Kirkland Lang. We don't know much about Lang as a heavy hitter, but we know he's quick. And so far, the missing element in Duran's performance is he has not been a busy fighter when he's inside. That was his trademark of both a lightweight and a welterweight. We don't see that hand speed at 154 pounds. Be first, sir, be first. And Duran looks a bit tentative, too. And good left hook by Lang, and he is landing what he's throwing, Sal. A left hook by Duran before they grapple for Bobby Watson, the referee. Kirkland Lang's got the opportunity of a lifetime here if he pulls an upset. I think the punch Lang has to watch out for is the overhand right from Duran. He, he, Duran hit him with it early, and that's the one punch I think Lang might be susceptible to. Final seconds of round three. Kirkland Lang uh, with all kinds of success with the left hand. He just wrapped around with a left-right combination. Duran came back with a right hand of his own. We'll continue with more. You're watching Saturday Night at the Fight. We're looking into round four. Roberto Duran against Kirkland Lang here at Cobo Arena in Detroit. Scheduled for ten rounds. Lang did some running in the first two rounds, but uh, he's been mixing it up with Duran and not doing too badly either. Sitting with me here at ringside, Louis Enrique, our translator. Yes, uh, so two things that we noticed right now. Kirkland is coming to fight a little more because of what instructions he got from his corner from Mickey Duff. And second, Duran is making sure he cut him more precisely and more accurate than prior rounds. He cut him off, cut off the ring on him. Cut off the ring, correct. Louis Enrique. So we're in the fourth now. Lang in the green takes a right hand from Duran. Overhand right. Patented shot from the legend. Well, Louis Enrique is right. Uh, Lang has come to fight, but I think in that last round, the fact is he fought better than Duran, and he's been more of an accurate puncher, I think, in this fight so far, especially in that third round. Very precise with his jab and his straight right hand. Duran's got a bit of a mouse on his left cheekbone right underneath the left eye. And he could be uh, suffering from some ring rust. He hasn't fought since January 30th. And I think that is a problem for him in this fight. And one of his great attributes that I mentioned, the ability to slip punches, has not been there tonight. And it seems like Lang is gaining more confidence as we go on. He just hit Durant with a left-right combination on the head. Durant with a left hook from the blind side. Could have been his best punch of the fight thus far. But Kirkland Lang did not move backwards. He blinked, but he's still there. And what we're not seeing is combination punching from Duran. Good right hand by Kirkland Lang. A lead right, and that tagged Duran on the chin. Duran had him caught, and Lang shoots a right hand and gets out of the corner. And Kirkland Lang doing everything just right so far. Less than a minute to go in the round. And I think that last right hand really hurt Roberto Duran, and there is a mouse under his left eye. No question about that. Kirkland Lang isn't running now. A trade right hands, and now we've got ourselves a brawl. Lang isn't running anymore. And still looking for the Duran sneer. It is not there. Left hand by Lang, and Duran was driven sideways. Right hand by Lang. And when Roberto Duran backs up, he is not the same fighter as when he comes forward. He's not used to backing up. He doesn't fight well that way. But Kirkland Lang is being very careful. He still is wary of Duran's power. The street fighter from Panama is being tagged by the unknown from Great Britain and will be back. Lang in the green trunks tagged Duran with a right hand right there. It was the best moment for Kirkland Lang in this fight. He's really come on strong. Now we're back to round five. A right hand by Duran and he catches Lang. And a good opportunity for us to bring in Louis Enrique. Uh, there was very important factors involved in, uh, in the corner just now. They send Duran to fight because this guy may be able to want to take the fight away from Duran. So right now they're making Duran go out to fight, make him stop as much as possible and just make, th start throwing punches. 
Well, there's no question now that Duran has to carry the fight to Lang because Lang is gaining all kinds of confidence. Let's listen in on what Mickey Duff told Kirkland and Lang between rounds. It was fantastic. You boxed like the world away champion of the world. You made him look stupid at that round than Sugar Ray Leonard did. We uh, beg your pardon for the profanity, but Kirkland Lang is doing a rat a tat tat on uh, Roberto Duran, and Mickey Duff is exuding all kinds of confidence for his guy. Well, the fact is there was very little technical advice given in, the, in between that round, but what Duff wanted to get across to Lang was, you belong in the ring with this fella. Hard jab there by Lang, yet another one. The one variable you can't bet against in any sport is speed and speed is what is now Roberto Duran's biggest opponent Duran can certainly fight but speed is beating him and Lang scores again with a right hand and suddenly it looks uphill for Roberto Duran and the ramp against Kirkland Lang has been that he has not always trained properly he admits it he says I'm a playboy he said I have not always trained well but I'm in the best condition of my life as this fight wears on we'll get a chance to see right now he looks in excellent shape meanwhile for all his razzle dazzle Kirkland Lang has to be wary of Durant's power and he connects again with two jabs on Durant's face and when Lang doubles up with the jab, he's so effective. Duran with a right hand, and Lang came back with his own right hand. And Duran really walloped him, but Lang didn't move. We're in round five. Right hand by Lang. A lead right hand caught Duran on the face. Final seconds, round five. Lang with a left hook to the head. Be first now, be first. Lang with a short right hand. We're halfway through the scheduled 10 rounders. And Durant's comeback looms large. <laughs> Al Marciano with Al Bernstein ringside at Cobo Arena in Detroit. Round six, scheduled for 10. Kirkland Lang in the green, Roberto Duran in the red. Al, how do you have it scored? I've got this fight in favor of Kirkland Lang, 49 to 47. I gave the last two rounds to, in fact, I've given the last three rounds to Kirkland Lang. And he scores with a right hand on the head of Durant. The last three rounds, he stopped running, started fighting, and he's been outpointing Durant as far as we see it. Let's get uh, Louis Enrique on microphone. Louis, what's going on in Durant's corner? Well, first of all, I would say in the fight, I think Durant is standing up too much. I think we should go more at him, faster at him, and press him a little harder. We understand he doesn't take too much of a punch, but if you don't hit him, you're not going to find out. So I think right now what Durant should do is be a little more mobile and get more action with his punches. Louis Enrique. Now Durant, I think, senses that he's behind in this fight is being outpunched by the speedier Kirkland Lang. So what is he going to do about it? He's got to take the fight to Lang. Well, Duran has not gotten inside very much, and when he is there, now we see him there. He needs to be busy. He needs to be busier, but he's not. He's not punching to the body or to the head. And Ray Arcel in his corner told him to punch to the body. Good right by Lang. He caught Duran out of position. This does not look anything like the Roberto Duran of last January 30th when he went the full 15 rounds with Wilfred Benitez. He lost that fight, but he looked a lot better than this. We're halfway through round six. And, of course, this is little resemblance to the Roberto Duran who won the welterweight championship in 1980 in Montreal when he beat Sugar Ray Leonard. Duran with the right hand, and Lang holds on. And I think the big difference is that he is not punching in combination. He's just not aggressive enough when he's inside. He throws one punch and stops. A right hand by Lang. Lang with the left hand. Duran with much more action here in the sixth. Right hand by Duran, a left hook by Lang. And Duran is there to be hit with that jab, but there's a good right hand by Duran. Duran's best punch of the fight, a big right hand, but Kirkland Lang is clear-eyed. This is where Duran wants Lang, on the inside. But Lang is tying him up very well. We're late in the sixth round. Duran with a right hand, but a glancing blow. Left 
less than 20 seconds to go. That right hand over the head of Lang. You're watching Saturday Night at the Fights on ESPN. Round seven, Roberto Duran, Kirkland Lang. Kirkland Lang had three very good rounds. He seemed to be a little bit off in the sixth round. He took a bit of a breather, and uh, Roberto Duran had a mild rally. And we're heading into the portion of the fight where conditioning is important for both fighters. We know Lang has not always trained well. For Duran, after over, well over 70 fights and at the age of 31, his stamina for a 10-rounder may be questionable. So we have to take a long look at these fighters as we head into the last part of this fight. Duran having difficulty with Lang's left hand. He is scoring with the jab, and he drilled him a couple of times with left hook. That's a triple jab by Lang. No head movement from Duran, and he is standing too straight up, which Louis Enrique mentioned earlier. No, no head movement. He's not bending at the waist. That's the Duran we've seen before. Kirkland Lang having his way. And he continues to be there first. And he's even bullying Duran around the ring. And that's something we're not used to seeing anyone do. I still don't see the sneer on Duran's face. That was his trademark, and it's gone. I think instead it's been replaced by some self-doubt. A right hand by Lang, and that caught Duran flush on the jaw. We're halfway through the seventh. A hard jab by Lang. Al Durant's really slowed down this round. He has slowed the tempo tremendously. I the last round I gave him by the barest of margin. Oh, big uppercut by Lang. But I'll now Durant has Lang. stopped. Durant flat-footed. Not doing anything this round. Less than a minute to go in the seventh. Mickey Duff, the manager of Kirkland Lang, said this is the biggest opportunity of your life. Don't blow it. And for the remainder of this round, if I was Kirkland Lang, I'd try and box Duran. I would not stand inside with him, which he was doing before. Duran is still dangerous inside. Duran, uh, moments ago, caught Lang with a lead right, nothing on it. He just hit him with the left, nothing on that punch either. Duran must feel he is in some kind of a nightmare. He's got this youngster smothering him, quicker than him, and he can't get the right balance. He can't get the right leverage. And that has a lot to do with ring wear and age. And maybe we are seeing the end of a legend. But meanwhile, it's only the end of the seventh round. And maybe Duran can pull back some magic. Before you paint any surface, prepare it with pre-painting supplies. For In the previous round, the seventh, Kirkland Lang with a right hand that caught Duran out of position. Back live for round eight, it's scheduled for ten. Duran with a thunderous right hand. He caught Lang who holds on. Now let's see what that did to Kirkland Lang, if anything. Duran did not follow with any more punches. Al, a lot of long faces in the corner of Roberto Duran. They're worried about this fight as well as should be. But this fight has reminiscent of the first four or five rounds of the comeback fight against Nino Gonzalez in Cleveland. Uh, Duran looked much like this, although he came back to win that fight. To find out what's going on in the corner, Roberto Duran is Luis Enrique. Actually, Sal, I was not close to the corner. I was looking for his wife to send for me. But what I noticed is that he is somewhat slower uh, in the whole fight. And that doesn't look too good right now. And it's somewhat out of proportion. But my, my feeling is that he should continue hitting to the body because the fellow is fast and he knows what he's doing many times. So I think it's difficult to catch him with a solid punch. And he's caught Lang with two right hands here in round eight. Lang has not moved back a step. Lang takes the left hand from Duran. Crowd here in Detroit sensing an upset is really alive with excitement. They booed Lang in the second round for running. They're not booing anymore. Well, Mickey Duff delivered a stern lecture after that second round, and since then, Kirkland Lang has been a different fighter. 
And one of the big problems is the timing for Duran. His timing is just so far off. Duran with the bruises underneath his left eye and above his left eye. He's not cut. They're uh, red welts about his left eye. I don't remember seeing any fighter with uh, this much braggadocio as Kirkland Lang bullying Roberto Duran around the ring and tagging him. Well, he's landing some sharp plunges, Kirkland Lang. A left hand by Lang. And Duran continues to try and take him out with a punch. He just caught Lang with a right hand. Duran's arms look very heavy. Less than 30 seconds to go in the round. Duran with a left hook, no steam on the punch. He's trying. Duran's trying to take him out. But Lang is smothering him. Lang pushes him off. Duran swimming in a tide of trouble. You play your video recordings a lot. You need a more do. Camp is here. Larry Holmes at ringside as he watches Roberto Duran take a right hand from Kirk and Lang as we begin round nine. Al, how much do you have Lang ahead by? I've got Lang ahead 78-75. Now, what effect will Duran's reputation have on the judges here? That's a good question. Because some of these rounds are reasonably close. While I've got many of them for Lang, you could make a case for an even round or possibly even one for Duran. Kirkland Lang takes, shoots a right hand and catches Duran on the head. Now, Mickey Duff told Lang in between rounds, he said, don't faint so much, just throw punches, you can hit them. Duran with a lead right, caught Lang, but no trouble there for Kirkland. Kirkland with a double jab. Lang came here from uh, England unheralded, despite the fact that he held the British welterweight title for one year. Right hand by Lang. This is the next to last round. Mickey Duff told Lang in his corner, I don't want a decision. Take him out. And to put this performance in perspective by Duran, the man he's fighting is a good welterweight and a pretty good junior middleweight. So he's not fighting Sugar Ray Leonard. He's only fighting a pretty good fighter. We're halfway through the night. I think it's safe to say Duran needs a knockout to win. Well, that's our estimation at this point. Duran with a left, right, nothing there. And there's a bit of swelling underneath Duran's left eye now. Duran takes a right hand as he pushes forward. And perhaps his longtime manager, Carlos Salada, was right. Last January 30th, after Duran lost to Benitez in Las Vegas, Elada told Duran to quit, to forget it, it's over. He did enough. But Duran continued on, and Elada is no longer his manager. Right hand by Duran. That used to be the electricity, but there's no more power there. That had no effect on Kirkland Lang. And I'll tell you, Roberto Duran may be there to be taken right now. He can be hit with the left and the straight right anytime Kirkland Lang throws it. When did you ever see anybody handle Duran so easily? Coming up the 10th and final round, and perhaps the final round of Duran's career. Aliens have taken over the Earth. Every moving vehicle is there. The 10th and final round in Detroit. Roberto Duran and Kirkland Lang. Roberto Duran obviously behind on all cards. Gotta be. Lang has been too quick for him. And Duran needs some magic here in the 10th round to pull it out. Al, how do you have it on your unofficial card? There it is, 88-84 for Lang. We don't know how the judges are seeing it, but I'll tell you, I'll be surprised if they have Roberto Duran ahead in this fight. 
No knockdowns in the fight, no cuts. There have been a couple of uh, welts underneath the eye of Duran, his left eye. Lang it looks especially fresh. And Duran with his hands low now in the center of the ring, looking to take him out. And here's the time in the fight when I think Lang should double up and triple up on that jab. Good straight right hand. That's the punch that will keep Duran on his back on his heel. The warrior in red continues on. And he's being outpunched here by a quicker man. And Roberto Duran should be fighting this 10th round like his life is at stake, at least his boxing life, because it is, but we're not seeing it. Not a good performance by the uh, two-time world champion. And Lang takes a big right hand from Duran, but he's not hurt. And he landed three jabs while uh, Duran was throwing that right. Halfway through the last round. has lost only three times in 77 fights and has got an uphill struggle tonight and there is no firepower at all in those punches Duran's throwing and there's a big right by Kirkland Lang maybe Lang's best punch he threw big right hands early in the fight but that was a wicked shot and Duran is just grappling here takes a right hand from Lang and Duran's knees buckled just a few moments ago he's pushing forward not throwing any punches it's all lying here in the last round. And there doesn't appear to be anything left from Roberto Duran. Duran with one big right hand right there, and uh, Lang didn't even move. Less than 30 seconds to go in the fight. If, if Lang can stay upright, he should win this fight, the biggest win in his career. I don't want to remember Duran this way. I want to remember him as the lightweight champion that had a stranglehold in that division for seven years. He doesn't look good as a junior middleweight. At 31 years of age, it may be all over for Hanson Stone. Are they happy in Kirkland Lang's corner? Mickey Duff in the far left, exuded him throughout the fight. That young man has got to believe that he is only a few minutes away from getting a decision that could really launch his boxing career at the advanced age of 28. Unofficially, how do you have it? I had the fight 98 to 93 for Kirkland Lang. Pretty big margin, the judges may have it closer, but uh, it was hard to imagine him winning by less or certainly Duran winning. I thought he won eight of the ten rounds. I thought Lang took eight of the ten rounds. Well, we'll have the official arithmetic for you in just a few moments. And the uh, looks on everyone's faces really are hinting at what is the bottom line here. Uh, Mickey Duff and uh, the entourage in the Kirkland Lang corner all smiles while there are long faces in Duran's corner. And Louis Enrique was sitting here at ringside with us, has showed some genuine emotion of sadness as he watched Roberto Duran, not the man he had been with for years and years and gone through all those glory days with. Legends die hard. And it's sad to see him go out this way if in fact that's the case. For Kirkland Lang, a beginning at the age of 28, hasn't always trained, he admits that, hasn't always given his all in fights, but tonight he was there. And I'll tell you, they worried about his stamina over 10 rounds. He was just as fresh in the 10th. We'll have the official decision. One of the better controls of 10-point must system, the decision of the judges. Judge Bernard Humphrey scores it 96 Duran, 95 Lane. <laughs> Judge Stuart Kirschenbaum scores it 96 Lane, 94 Duran. <laughs> Judge Nate McAlpin scores it 96 Lane, 94 Duran. The winner by a split decision, Kirkland Lane. Lang, the split decision winner.
A lot closer than most people thought. Only a split decision for Kirkland Lang as two judges, Kirschenbaum and uh, McAlpin, had it 96-94 for Lang, while Humphrey had Duran winning 96-95. At any rate, Kirkland Lang with a split decision over Roberto Duran for Lang, obviously the uh, biggest victory of his career. For Roberto Duran, only his fourth loss. And uh, Duran is already leaving the ring. It's all over. He loses on a split decision. But everybody got their money's worth, and I think everybody's really, in a way, a, a bit saddened by the fact that Duran is no longer the legend. You're watching Saturday Night at the Fight.